Hello everyone, this is Rana Fezan here. Today our topic of discussion is Fog classification for carbonates. In this topic, we will cover about the introduction of this scheme, the main components of carbonates under this scheme, then the main allochemes and its types, then how we can give the name to any carbonate rock by using this scheme, and uh, the fog textual classification, and in the end, I will summarize my lecture. But before start, if you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe it so that in the upcoming lecture, you will receive the notification easily. So let's start. Fog classification is the classification of sedimentary rocks, especially carbonates, which was proposed by the Robert L. Fogg, who is a sedimentary petrologist and right now a professor emeritus at the University of Texas. According to his scheme, the carbonates are uh, divided into two main groups, allochemical and orthochemicals. Uh, allochemical rocks are those in which the grains which are present in the rocks are uh, um, are uh, uh, transported or comes from elsewhere. What does it mean? It means the sediments, uh, the grains does not did not uh, uh, deposit at the same place. They comes from the outside place. Uh, similarly, like the detrital grains in the clastic rocks. The other type is orthochemical, in which the grains uh, present in the rock um, deposit at the same time at the same place. So they did not come outside the basin. Then the classification is based on three main, uh, main uh, components. First one is particles, then the nature of these particles, and third one is the proportion of material. The material may be matrix or may be cement. According to classification of fog, uh, the uh, limestone has three main components, uh, allochemes, which are further divided i will discuss uh, in the next slides then the micrite which is a mud matrix we uh, call it micro, uh, micro crystalline calcite uh, this is the picture of micrite hand specimen and this is the thin section picture of micrite third one is spherite spherite is the cement it, it is the spherical side cement here you can see the uh, thin section picture of spherical side Then the main uh, allochemes includes the bioclast. Uh, here you can see the picture of bioclast. What is bioclast? Bioclast is basically the shell fragment or the broken piece of fossil which uh, makes some part of the sedimentary rock. In this picture, you can see the uh, bioclast in the limestone. And in the thin section, it looks like this. Second one is oids, and it is abbreviated as O. Whites are small concentric um, uh, carbonate grains, um, and the diameter of whites is less than two millimeter. They usually form in those waters which are agitated. Here you can see the picture of whites on the outcrop, and here you can see the picture under the thin section. Then the intraclass. This is the irregular shape grain, which is formed by syn de uh, syn depositional reasons. Syn depositional means during deposition when the partially lithified sediments broken down and their origin occurs, then they produce the intraclast, which then lithified in the uh, original rock. Here you can see the picture of uh, intraclast and thin section picture. Then the pellets, which is abbreviated as pell. Pellets are small uh, spherical to rod shaped grains. They, uh, their size is very small, uh, about 0.03 to 0.3 millimeter, and they also composed of micrite. Here you can see the picture under a thin section and on uh, hand specimen. Then how we can give the name to a rock? You can see the picture uh, on the very right side. You can see the lacking allocan rocks, and on the left side, there are two uh, columns one is spherite calcite, second one is micrite matrix. Um, these are uh, uh, those which contain allocams, and you can see the allocams also on the most uh, left side intraclass, oolites, fossils, and pellets. These are allocams, and uh, we use the abbreviations of these allocams to give the name. For example, for whites we use O, for intraclass we use uh, intra, for bioclass bio, and for pellets pell. And then uh, now we see how we can give the name. For example, if the limestone has pellets with the micrite, then the name will be pell micrite. P 
pell from intra class uh, 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 sorry pell from allocamps pellets and micride from uh, uh, microcrystalline mud here you can see the pell micride similarly for spherite we can see the limestone which has bioclass which has shell fragments and spherical side cement this is biospherite here is the picture of biospherite similarly we can give the name to those rock which lacks allocam this is uh, the micrite in which no bioclass found and this is this this micrite in which uh, the fenestral cavities are present fenestral cavities uh, produced by scandry prosody then the reef rocks which are organically bound limestones if we have three um, uh, uh, if we have two types of uh, in, uh, allocams in a rock with micrite or spherite then we can give the name by one three ratio you can see in the picture whites bio class plus micrite then o for whites bio for bio class and micrite uh, as it is and the ratio is 10 30 and 60 similarly for spherite you can see pell biospherite then we discuss the textual classification Textual classification based on the uh, proportion of bioclass, mud matrix, and cement. Here you can see the textual classification. Now I will discuss some terms. Um, like if the rock has micrite with less than 1% bioclass or shell fragments, then this is micrite. Here you can see if the rock has uh, 1 to 10% shell fragments with fossilif uh, with uh, micrite, then it is fossiliferous micrite. Here you can see the picture and percentage. If it has micrite with 10 to 50 percent, then shell uh, then the sparse biomicrite. If it uh, it has more than 50 percent shell fragment, then it is packed biomicrite. If the rock has the mixture of micrite and spherical site along with the shell fragment, then it is called poorly washed biospherite. Here you can see the picture. Similarly, the poorly sorted shell fragments with spherical site cement is called unsorted biospherite and the well sorted shell fragments with spherical site is called sorted biospherite uh, the rounded and abraded shell fragments with spherical site cement is called rounded biospherite so this is the uh, textual classification now we conclude what we what we have discussed in this lecture first we discussed the fourth classification is divided into two main types of rocks allochemical and orthochemical then we um, uh, uh, explain the classification on the basis of particle size texture and matrix uh, then the uh, we discussed the three main constituents of carbon and the, which are allocams micrite and spherite and then the division of allocams uh, intra class bio class pellets and whites and then we give the name to the rock by using prefixes then uh, we discuss about uh, if uh, two, uh, more than two uh, bio class are present then how we can abbreviate the rock and in the end we discuss about the classification textual classification which is uh, based on the proportion of matrix cement and bio class so thanks for watching hope you enjoy the lecture